This is WVTM 13 weather. At this moment, Clanton is about as far as you can get from the rain, but it will be there by morning in Chilton County. We've got showers from Jefferson, St. Clair and Northern Shelby up through Blunt, Marshall and Coleman, and it is raining heavily on the northwest side of downtown Coleman right now. Heavy rain has just come through West Point and Jones Chapel. It's still raining hard out there around Coogler Creek and then uh, coming up on St. Joseph Drive here uh, near the uh, Walmart off Olive Street uh, headed down into the south part of town. It'll be in there pretty soon. Smith Lake all the way up in the northwest Alabama. That's where the rain has been for most of the day. And then look out over Arkansas and northwest Mississippi. Some of these storms pretty electric right now. No severe weather expected, just some good old fashioned soaking rain. Back by 11 o'clock, I think most of us in Jefferson, Blunt, Coleman, Etowah, St. Clair, Calhoun have seen some rain, but we still don't see much down toward Chilton or Bibb or Tuscaloosa County until likely after midnight. So we get wave one through here, then there are some scattered showers through the first part of tomorrow morning. Wave two develops midday into early afternoon and where we've seen the heaviest rain so far today. I think we miss it tomorrow long and north of Highway 278, but Birmingham, Tuscaloosa down through Centerville, Clanton, Rockford. Good chance of rain through about seven o'clock tomorrow evening and then the wind shifts to the north and things start to dry out a little bit going into Monday. In fact, Monday may be the nicest day we have of the entirety of the seven day forecast. So rain is coming in. It sticks around. And it's hanging through tomorrow afternoon and the temperature just doesn't move very much. We're thinking upper 50s for a low and low 60s for a high tomorrow. So unlike today, you probably will need a jacket and most likely a rain jacket during the day tomorrow with highs only sitting there in the low 60s. Basically about as cool as it's been at night recently. Monday, a better day. We'll see some sun in between the clouds, but still more clouds than anything. Tuesday, the wind starts to kick in and a big storm system develops to our west. Potential there for severe weather across Mississippi and southwest Alabama with this storm system. But as it comes toward us, dry air from Georgia undercuts those storms and likely keeps us from having severe weather, although we are going to end up with some heavy rain. That's why we have an impact day set up for Wednesday here. The high on Wednesday at 64. Locally heavy rainfall here could add up to more than three or four inches all in all here across the northern part of Alabama. And beyond that, well, here comes the chill. We are finally starting to look more like December with highs in the 50s on Thursday. And then Ryan, how about some 40s and 30s Friday and Saturday?